Welcome back to Studio 701. It's officially that time of year. Sweater weather season. And, oh, I love sweater weather. And there's nothing more cozy than curling up with your favorite book in a sweater and reading. I think so, too. I mean, I'm not up to 100 books a year. No, absolutely like Janet, not. Like Janet, our last guest. But in today's Check It Out, Randy Monley from the Minot Public Library is going to tell us how you can win fabulous prizes for choosing books that are outside of the box. Hi, Randy. Hi. Thank you so much for joining um, us. Yeah, so I'm... Thank you. I'm so excited. I'm like ready. Um, <laughs> so this month for Sweater Weather, we are working on own voice books, which means that the books come from the author's cultural perspective. And I brought this one along because I think you guys are going to like it. And it's called You Had Me at Ola. So the author, Alexa Staria, is Latinx, and her main character is Latinx as well. And she comes from the soap opera world, and then <laughs> she meets the new man who is from telenovela. <laughs> and this is a fabulous little romp, so put away your business book for a while and have some fun with this one. Oh, I love it. I love the whole idea behind it, thinking outside of the box, yes. something you would normally not pick. If I saw that title, I would think, uh oh, do you have to speak Spanish to read that? Um, but no, doesn't sound like it. No. It's no, and it's really cool because there is a little bit of Spanish in the book, but they frame it in a way where you can understand what they're talking about if you don't know Spanish. So I really appreciated that when I read it. And you might even pick up a little Spanish while reading it, which is pretty cool. Exactly. Now, uh -huh. is there, now is your sweater weather challenge, can that be for all ages or is it for adults, for kids? Who can do it? Anybody can do it. It's all ages. And we have four prizes a month for each age category. So we have pit picture books, children's chapter books, teen books, and adult books. And then at the end of sweater weather, um, which is in March, we will have a grand prize for each category, and they're going to get a Kindle Fire. <gasps> Kindle Fire. It's exciting. Where do right? you stand yeah. on how you read? We were talking about that earlier in the show. Do you like a Kindle? Do you like the old books? Or, you know, to hold more of a the book in your hand? Where, where do you stand in that debate? I love books. But I've really gotten into audiobooks lately, too. Mm -hmm. So I can listen to those while I'm grocery shopping or cleaning the house. And it's just kind of a way to fill that dead, boring time in my day. And I get through so many books a year. That's so true. It's so true. Now, before we ask you this next question, though, you did tell us something about how many books you read per year. How many <laughs> books do you read? Last year, it was 120. And that's like my... my that's pretty amazing for me. So just yeah, a measly I'm 120. It's crazy. That's so many. I just want to read one a month. <laughs> I know. I'm like, yeah. I, I read a lot of children's books because mm -hmm. I have a three-year-old, and I actually love it. It's so fun to do. I mean, like, to remember it from when I was a kid, Good Night Moon, you know, and, like, just the different perspectives. But 120 a month, I don't think I do that with children's books or a year. That's so many. <laughs> well, we do know that the pandemic, you know, has been difficult for everyone. Um, you know, at Minot Public Library, you've created some new ways to engage with readers. So tell us what you have going on there. Um, so we started the whole sweater weather thing, obviously, um, but we also have curbside service right now. So you can uh, reserve books online, come to the door, we can bring them out to you. Um, we also have a board game collection, which has really been going over well um, because they're family board games and people are loving something different to do during this time. So it's been good. And you know, board games are kind of a sweater weather type thing too. You can cuddle up and I love board play games. a few board games. Um, and talk to us about the virtual programming. How does that go? You know, is that live? Can you access it later? How do the kids kind of follow along with that? Um, so we do story times in Steam live for the kiddos, and they both have take and makes that go with them. So you pick up the supplies ahead of time, and then we're able to um, do the instructions over the live video, and they're able to follow along. And for teens, we do a lot of take and makes. Also for adults, you know, and you can go back and look at the video. We keep them up for about 30 days. 
That sounds fantastic. Um, you know, so educational so that you're not sounding like a blatherskite. Oh. Um, but this has... That we. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Randy. We really appreciate you, you coming on the show. This has been Check It Out. And to check out the Sweater Weather Challenge or any other virtual programs coming up at the Minot um, Public Library, make sure you visit MinotLibrary.org. And we are going to keep it moving.